Hey guys, how we doing? Good. Good. Nice to see you guys. How do you like Seattle so far? I mean, look at this. My family's literally landing in about five minutes. We're moving in, moving in today, so uh, good, good things. I told the players they couldn't make me mad today because no matter what, my kids are coming and my wife's coming. It's going to be great. What attracted you? Um, a lot of things. You know, I think uh, obviously it starts with Pete and John and the way that they have built this organization. Being in St. Louis for the three years I was there, obviously competing here, the fan base. Uh, I'm looking forward to actually calling plays here without the distraction of the noise and uh, the Legion of 12. Um, uh, the players, obviously, good good young talent. Uh, obviously, Russell. Uh, I'm a quarterback guy. I love coaching quarterbacks. Uh, it just really felt like a good fit for me. You mentioned being a quarterback guy. Pete talked about you working with quarterbacks really closely and all that. Just what are your early takeaways of Russell? Uh, I, you know, I love coaching the quarterback position. I've always done it that way. It's just something that's my passion. I wasn't a very good quarterback, uh, so I've learned to, uh, that I'm better coaching them and showing them the way to do things rather than doing it. Just I've admired Russell, uh, the way he his playmaking ability, but yet the ability to throw the football and create plays when things break down. That's hard to teach. It's hard to teach a guy to run around and make people miss and uh, find an open guy in the end zone when they're open. That's hard to teach. Uh, so that was something really exciting for me is to get here and work with a guy like that that has done so well thus far and uh, just try to coach him up on some new fundamentals and techniques and see what he likes. Uh, energetic. I love to be out there with the guys. I love to jump in. I love to be involved. I'm a fundamental coach. I believe that fundamentals make a difference. I think when you're going into a matchup and it's whether it's third quarter or fourth quarter and you've got two evenly matched players going up against each other, the one with the, the better or more solid foundation of fundamentals will ultimately win more share of battles uh, than his opponent. So those would probably be two big things for me. Uh, I see myself as a teacher. Uh, I love trying to reach different people in the room and say things maybe a different way. So I reach J.D. McKissick one way and I reach Chris Carson another way. I think that's uh, one of my strengths. Uh, I just love the profession. What do you think Brandon can do for you guys? What do you see fitting in the office? Uh, well, obviously, you know, uh, we're just still learning a lot about him. He just got here. Uh, we're excited to throw him into that, that group of guys. Uh, I think it's a really, really strong receiver room. I'm excited with where we've gotten so far. So it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, experience. You know, you put him in there with Doug and Tyler. That's always a good thing. Uh, but we're really just excited to get him here and uh, get him up to speed with what we're doing uh, system-wise. And uh, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. He was, talk, he was talking about it being a really high priority for him to fix the running game and the issues that, that were here a year ago. He called you a big part of that as well with your background with the Jets and what you guys did back there. How do you kind of spin on court what you have in this collection? What do you want to see out of that group as you move forward with the guys you have here? I think the biggest thing with the running game, obviously, is it's, it starts with the guys up front. You know, that, that mindset, the physical mindset, the ability where hey, we're going to control the line of scrimmage, that's easier said than done. It's easy to have that mentality. I think a big part of it, obviously, is getting a guy like Mike Solari to come here and coach the offensive line. A lot of respect for Mike. Uh, he was with my father for a number of years. I coached with him for a year. Um, the stable of backs that we have here is exciting. But when you emphasize things in coaching, you normally get results. And that's just something that we've talked about from the very beginning when I first started talking to Pete was that was going to be something that you got to have the ability to run the football when people know you're going to run the football. And when you lose that, you kind of become one dimensional and that's hard. So again, we're trying to find some different wrinkles, find out who we are, you know, different ways made to attack people. And that's been kind of fun throughout this whole uh, phase one, phase two, getting into OTAs. What are some of the hallmarks of a Brian shot member offense? Obviously the running game, being physical, play action pass, but obviously here it always starts with always protect the ball. You know, the ball's number one. If you don't have that, again, you're going to hurt your chances to win. But we've always been best places I've been. We were able to run the football when people knew we were going to run it. We could throw the football when people knew we were going to throw it. And that just gives you that balance that you need to be successful. You've traditionally used a fullback too, right? We have, yep. We like to be multiple with our formations. Uh, fullbacks uh, might be a dying breed, but we like to use them. Uh, we've got a couple good ones, so that's been fun. And uh, you'll see them in a lot of different spots. Our coordinator coming into this position, how tough is the balance like? You want to bring your own ideas and your own stuff, but there's also things that the quarterback knows and the players know well. And just sort of how do you balance that of your ideas versus what they are? Well, I think that's pretty easy. You know, you come in here and you see that, you know, obviously Russell, what he did last year and what they've done here historically, 
Uh, a big part of it's been myself and Coach Solari learning some of the terminology and some of the things that they've done. Uh, you know, if you put a number on it, I'd say it's probably 70% of what they've done here and then maybe 30% of ideas from Mike and myself and some of the new guys. Uh, but it'd be crazy to ask some of these guys to learn a completely new system. Uh, obviously, I you know have been working extremely hard trying to get up to speed with some of the way they've done things, and they've had so much success here that that was easy for me to do. Uh, I'm excited about some of the things that we've added. Uh, I think both in the run and pass game, I think that'll be something that's noticeably a little bit different. Uh, but it's it's a it's a, a, a comprehensive approach. We're all in this thing together, and it's been fun to figure out really who we are. And ultimately, right now, we still don't know. We're still trying to figure that out. And the more we practice and go up against a great defense, uh, we'll figure that out as we go. What's the biggest thing you've learned about Russell that you didn't know before you got to the uh, Obviously, the competitor uh, is something that really sticks out. We do some fun drills out here uh, with the quarterbacks. And uh, if and when he loses, he always wants to try to do it again. Uh, we don't let him do it very often when he loses, uh, but uh, that's that's something. Uh, just the poise that he has, uh, and been tremendous uh, relationship just to get started. Coach him. Uh, I told him I was going to coach him hard. Uh, uh, just because uh, I love it. I love I love the quarterback position. I love bringing that uh, energy, and I think uh, we're off to a good start. He's talked about uh, wanting to go uh, a little further with Russell as he's accomplished. Well, again, I always go back to fundamentals. I think obviously the skill sets that he has are tremendous. Uh, I think there's some things that we're looking at trying to do with his his footwork and things like that. Just we're trying to hold him, uh, you know, in the the details of some certain things that maybe he's never done. Uh, we're not going to force him to do anything that he doesn't like or doesn't feel good about. But he's been great in terms of trying things, and uh, that's a starting point. Obviously, the fundamentals and the footwork and some of the different things, timing-wise, maybe some route concepts that he hasn't run. Uh, and how the footwork fits in. So, um, again, off to a good start, but still early. He's always had his really pretty masters in research. You know, Monday coordinator, pass game coordinator, quarterback coach. How are you sensing how different this setup is? Um, you know, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, kind of the way the setups is now here is the way it's always been with me. I've always been. Um, you know, certainly uh, the guy calling the plays, the guy directing the offense. Uh, I certainly don't think I have all the answers. I have a tremendous staff uh, of coaches that not only have been here, but have got a ton of experience. And then we've got, you know, I've always learned a ton from players too. I mean, going back to when I was just uh, an offensive assistant with the Rams, I learned, uh, this is many moons ago, I learned so much from a guy like Isaac Bruce. So I think you can always learn from your surroundings and the people that you've been around. So uh, it's very normal to me. It's just kind of what I know. Well, I think obviously, you know, you have to have a, a, a nice assortment of runs, right? We're going to try to spread some people out, okay, create room to run. Uh, but at the same time, we'll have some smash mouth runs where, again, they can have eight, nine guys down in the front, and we're going to find a way uh, to get a hat on a hat, if you will. And then if they leave a crease, we've got some backs that can exploit that. Uh, and then again, you got to tie in the play action passing game with the run game. I think that's a big part of it that we've been working really hard that the, the runs and, and play actions look the same. Uh, again, you know, haven't gone back really and studied the film last year in terms of how they started. It's really more learning the system, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, just uh, the, the plays are all the same, right? We all run a lot of the same plays around the league. It's just what you call it. Um, but again, when you look at what they did, obviously Russell's a great guy in the fourth quarter creating and improvising, making things happen. So it's been more about just us taking each each day, putting those building blocks together for first and second down the first day, then third down. That's really what we're focusing on now. Uh, and again, that stuff will come together. But obviously they found a lot of ways to win games around here, and we don't expect that that'll change. Anything else? Great. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you.